Hey Automation Learners, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to the NATN Master Course series. This is the third video of our course. So if you missed the previous videos, please check the link in the description and start from the beginning. In this video, we are going to build a Twitter automation that will post on our Twitter regularly on autopilot. So without any further ado, let's jump on the course. So as you can see here, this is the automation that I have built. So let's test it. So to run the automation, all you have to do just click this button, test workflow. Now, as you can see here, our workflow executed successfully. Let's go to our Twitter and let's refresh the platform. All right, we are seeing here that we have got a post that says automating social media post, boost efficiency and consistency. Great, and the post is posted on 11 seconds ago. Perfect, now let me explain how this thing works. So we have a Google Sheet. This Google Sheet is holding our keywords. So this is the keywords. After getting the data from the Google Sheet, we are picking a random keyword. And we are sending the random keyword to our OpenAI or ChatGPT to generate a post. And then we are posting that on our X platform. And at the end, we have marked the keyword as posted. So if we go to our keyword page, then as we can see here, this is the posted. So automating social media post, this keyword is already posted on our Twitter. So the status changed to posted. Alrighty, enough talk, let's build the automation. So let's go to our dashboard, then click create workflow. By the way, if you don't have N8N, then check the link in the description and get the N8N cloud version. It's really easier to learn N8N with this cloud version. All right, so our first step would be getting the data from Google Sheet. But before that, we need to add a trigger. What is trigger? Trigger is something that will start the automation. So if we want to post on our Twitter daily on a specific time, then we can change the trigger to a schedule trigger. So this is our manual trigger. And the manual trigger will run the automation when we click this test workflow button. But what if we need to run the automation on a specific date or daily on a specific time. For that purpose, we can choose a schedule uh, trigger. So if you select this one, then you can select your day, time and hour to run the automation on that time. Let's get back to our can canvas and for the starting purpose or for building purpose, we can select uh, trigger manually. So whenever we will click test automation, then this trigger will run the automation. Alrighty. Now, uh, we have got our first step to run the automation. Then the second step would be getting the data. So our data, data is stored in a Google Sheet. So we need to search for Sheet or Google Sheet. Then you will have Google Sheet. And then we need to get rows in Google Sheet so that we can get the data from a row. Now all we have to do is just connect your Google account. How you can connect it, just click this one button and then select create new credentials and then sign in with your Google account. If you sign in with your Google account, then it will automatically get connected. Alrighty. Now, after connecting your account, all we have to do is just select your document. So, for selecting the document, you have three different options from list, from URL, from ID. All of them are really easy. So, if you select from list, then all of the details or all of the sheet you have, it will be popped up here. But if you select URL, then you can copy the URL from your Google Sheet URL. Then you can paste it here or you can use id so for my personal experience i think id is the really easiest way to connect it so all you have to do is just to go to your google sheet and then copy the id this is your id of the google sheet and then paste it here after pasting it you can select the sheet so this is the document google sheet document now inside the document you will have different sheets so this is our sheet sheet one we have to select sheet one right now let's test the step so as you can see here we have got 40 results so our keyword is almost total 40 right now we have got 40 results that's great let's get back to our canvas now the next step would be picking a random number right so click this plus button and search for code so this code note is a simple javascript code that will be used to pick a random number Copy this JavaScript code and paste it on your new document or new workflow code uh, and then test it. 
Now after pasting the JavaScript code, now you have a random number and random keyword. So the row number is 24 and the keyword is automated posting tool. So if we go to our Google Sheet, then we can see 24 is holding automated posting tool. So this is the row number and this is the random keyword we have picked um, from our Google Sheet. Alrighty, we have got our targeted keyword, right? Now we need to generate the post. To generate the post, you can use many AI. You can use Claude, you can use ChatGPT. You can use any other AI tool that has their API connection. So click this plus button. In this term, we are going to use OpenAI or ChatGPT. So select OpenAI and here all you have to do is select uh, message a model. Why we are selecting message a model? Because we want to send a message to a, an AI model that this is a keyword and just give me a post for my Twitter and then it will send us the response. Now select message model then connect your OpenAI account. If you don't know how to connect it then we have a tutorial on that you can check it on here but let me show you how you can connect it in the shortest time so click this button then select create credential and then enter your api key that is really easy to connect so how you can get your api key just go to platform.openai.com then create an account and then add minimum five dollar credit then you will have a um, api key then copy the api key then paste your api key here all of the other fields can be empty that doesn't matter now after connecting your open ai account all you have to do just select a model so in this term we can select 4o uh, or you can use any of the updated model that you think is great let's go for um, one mini no let's go for 4o right now let's type a message we can copy the message from our uh, this automation just copy it copy then paste the uh, text here now let me clarify what we are doing here so i'm saying i would like to post on my twitter this is the keyword where can we get the keyword our keyword is on our previous node so this is the input on the left side we have input on the right side we have the output and this is the previous node that we have already executed now we have got our keyword on this code node so this is code node this is google sheet node now we have picked a random keyword so this is the keyword that we have picked now let's pay drag and drop the keyword here so as you can see here we have got the keyword where is it oh it got here so just cut and paste now um, you can see the preview here so this is the preview result so it says i would like to post on my twitter x this is the keyword the keyword is automated posting tools now generate a post generate a post for this keyword and make it shorter so that it can be post on twitter blah 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 right uh, you can modify your prompt so as you know the better prompt you will give it the better result you will get and also keep in mind twitter has some limitations on characters you cannot post like facebook a longer post so you have to keep it under i think 200 characters so that's up to you and you can modify the uh, prompt to get the better result within those characters now let's test this step oh we have got the output so it says uh, streamline your social media with automated posting tools social media uh, productivity it has some hashtags because i added like uh, also add three hashtags for this post so it also added the hashtags great now we have our post now we need to post it on twitter or x now class click this plus button and search for x and then you will have x formerly twitter now we need to create a tweet click this create a tweet now you have to connect your twitter account now this can be a little bit of trickier to connect your x account now we have a tutorial on how to connect your x account with nidan so check the video in here or also i will add the link in the description so after connecting your x account or twitter account now we need to send the post text so what will be the post text right so we have our openai node on the left side and inside the openai node we have the content the content is holding the generated post that we have generated from OpenAI. So just drag and drop this one here. And if you see the result, the result is the same result that we have got as a post from OpenAI. That's great. Now test the step. And if you test it, then the post is already one year 
Twitter. So now if you go to Twitter, the last post was 14 minutes ago and if you refresh it, then you will have a new post that is 10 seconds earlier and it says streamline your social media with automated posting tools. That's great. We have successfully posted on our Twitter. Okay, we have successfully posted on our Twitter. Now, if we don't track our keywords, which one is already posted and which one is not, then we will have the same keyword over and over again, right? Now we need to track the keyword and need to exclude those keywords getting in the OpenAI again and again, right? Now, all we have to do is just create a new column that will say status. Now the status is pending. Now we need to change the pending to posted or any other keyword that you can track. Now let's go to our uh, automation and search for Google Sheet again. And then here, all we have to do, we just update a row in Sheet. We want to update a row so that we can track it. So we can enter the ID of our Google Sheet and then we can select the sheet here. Now we have to map each column manually and then column to match on by row number. Why we are selecting row number here? Because we want to track the specific row which we have already generated the content. So in this term, if we go to our code node, then this is the row number. And if you go to our Google Sheet, then as you can see here, the 24 row is holding our keyword. Now, this is the row number that we need to track. Now, we have 24 row number and we need to update this column that is a status and a status column will be changed to posted right now this is the tracking code to get the row number and the row number we have got now we need to set the column so our second column is posted and we need to update this column right now let's test it test test it we have successfully updated now if we go to our google sheet then as you can see here this is changed to pending to posted now we need to add a filter for what we need to filter out this keyword if this keyword is available in the google sheet then we will exclude it now, right let's get back to our automation and go to this node this is google sheet node and in this node we want to add a filter just click this add a filter and then we want to select this column that is a status and if the a status column is holding the value as pending here then all of the data will be retrieved so if the a status column is holding the value as pending then we will get the data and this column has a value of posted so it won't be retrieved so if we test it then we will have 38 items because we have two row that is holding posted so this one is posted and we have another one this one this one is also posted so we have 38 items that is holding the keyword pending great now let's get back to our canvas and we can run the automation again here test workflow and it has successfully posted on our twitter let's go to twitter and refresh the twitter so three seconds there we have got, we have got another post that is excited to explore new features of llama 3.2 who else is diving in great now we have got 38 items and uh, what is the row number here row number is 40 so if we go to the 40 row number this is 40 then this is as post posted it says llama 3.2 get and also our status is changed to posted that's great now we have got our workflow that is working and that is posting over and over again on our twitter now if we test the workflow then as you can see here we have got 37th item because we have excluded one item that was uh, posted a little earlier and again we have got our um, post on our twitter here 10 seconds ago and we have updated our google sheet so in this term this is 20 row number 20 so if we go to row number 20 then we have see that it is posted perfectly alrighty now we have got our automation and if you want to see how i build the system the uncut version unedited version then join the community inside the community i have added the video how i do it and how i build any automation with the help of ai so join the uh, community 
and you will have everything uncut unedited and it will help you a lot and also you will have a lot of other benefits so check the link in the description